All right, Doctor. How bad is it? Tell me the truth. Santa Claus, I'm so sorry, but all of those years of eating cookies and drinking milk, they have done a number on your heart, and I'm afraid it's terminal. Ho oh, ho, oh, no. How long have I got? I'm so sorry, Santa, but you haven't got long. You're not going to be able to make it for Christmas this year. It's going to have to be canceled. No. Christmas can't be canceled. Bring me my son. Son? Oh, he's here. Son! You've been training for this day. You must save Christmas. Take the key. The key to my sleigh. Ho, ho, ho. Hello lovely humans and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Heather. I am a baker turned physical therapy student, a cat enthusiast, and a woman on an adventure to get her life together and hopefully lose 100 pounds along the way. It is 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm groggy as heck, but I just wanted to introduce you to this week's episode of me trying to be healthy and still lose weight while I'm going on vacation. We are going to Austin for a three day road trip. It's about three hours from me. And I've actually never been to Austin before, but it's definitely known for its food. So I'm gonna take it one step at a time and see if I can make some good decisions. Just to clarify, I'm actually closer to 218, but I ate super late last night, that's why it's still hanging on to the scale. But I want you guys to at least have a general idea of a starting weight. Honey, I gotta put that shoe on. I gotta put that shoe on. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I may miss you. And of course, I've gotta give kisses to all four of my babies before we leave. Yes, my boy. Don't let the smiles fool you. We were half dead and asleep. And now that this trip has begun, I can assume my true form. A burrito. A burrito and I'm full of love. I didn't want to go too wild, so here I got a ham, egg, and cheese kolache, which I ate about three-fourths of because I really wanted to save room for the cinnamon rolls. And here is where the piece de resistance is a strawberry shortcake cinnamon roll. This thing was one of the food highlights of the trip and we hadn't even gotten to Austin yet. I've been coming to this bakery on vacation since I was about five years old. But here is where things got a little bit different because the last time I was able to go to this bakery was about five years ago. And when I went, I actually polished off two of those cinnamon rolls, plus like two kolaches with no shame. And this trip, I was not doing that. I got one cinnamon roll, I gave a little bit to my husband, and I basically ate like a fourth of it and then snacked on the rest of it for the next two days. That's the first time I have ever managed to have something that good and actually withhold from just going wild immediately. So I was pretty proud of myself. After our fabulous breakfast, we made another pit stop in Waco, Texas, because I am a huge fan of the show Fixer Upper. Absolutely love Chip and Joanna Gaines. I think they're fabulous. And I have been dying to go check out the silos. So we made another pit stop. Our first stop of the whole Magnolia Enterprise was at Magnolia Press, which was super fancy. And Kelsey and Javi wanted to get the French press coffee. Apparently it's fancier and better. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but it was fun to watch. Oh, the color is awesome. Mm -hmm. And the place was super cute.
for when it's demo day. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the absolute best part of this trip. His name is Oliver, the little mouse who rode in my pocket for a good chunk of the trip. I love him. When you don't have a kitchen to cook in, but you're trying to be healthy on vacation, one of the hardest parts is finding a restaurant that works for everyone. So we thought we'd try a collection of food trucks. I picked the only thing there that actually had vegetables in it, which was a Vietnamese chicken bento box, which was not bad. I also made sure to save half of it to take to the hotel for another meal. Once we got to Austin and got checked into our hotel, our first stop afterwards was to check out the Museum of Weird on 6th Street. That was so much fun. They had all kinds of exhibits. We had an absolute field day, especially in the part that had all the different wax figurines. Y'all, the part with the King Kong hands was freaking amazing. They literally had it set up to where you could crawl kind of on the floor to sort of suck it in and get all up in his hand like you were being kidnapped. And we were sucking it in hard because we are not tiny ladies, but it was so much fun. I absolutely love this picture. My husband looks like one of those kids at the animal shelter that just looks stoked as all heck to adopt like the ugliest creature there. Like it's his new best friend. I would highly, highly recommend checking this out if you go to Austin. It was so much fun. We then continued our tour down 6th Street to a few different bars, which I honestly did not care about because I'm not a big drinker. So, like the five-year-old I am, I sat there with my Dora the Explorer looking backpack ate an Uncrustable, and befriended the world's cutest puppy named Samson. So towards the end of the night, the only thing I had eaten was a single Uncrustable, and I was so hungry that I was ready to murder someone, because none of these bars have actual food. So we compromised and went to Casino El Camino, which was featured on that show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, and I ordered the Pittsburgher, and my god, this was the best burger I've ever had in my life. Like, if I had to die in a pile of food, that would be my final choice to be suffocated in. It was glorious. Honest to God, it was so hard at this point to remember that I was trying to make healthy choices on vacation because all I wanted to do was shove it in my face and keep it there forever. But I actually managed to eat only half of that burger and took the other half home to eat the day after. I was super proud of myself, but it was torturous. We finally got back to the hotel around 11.30. Everyone was exhausted and I proceeded to change into my gym clothes and drag all of our sorry buns down to the gym for a workout and was feeling super proud of myself. So all in all, the day wasn't bad. Yes, there was some snacky things going on, but I didn't go completely bananas and I still got my workout in. So for vacation, Heather, I'm considering that a win. So the next morning, we had a quick breakfast at the hotel. I just had a little bit of eggs and bacon because I still wanted to finish a little bit more of the cinnamon roll from the day before. And also, we were going to go out for Kelsey for breakfast, and so I wanted to leave some room just in case I found something good. All right, guys, we are on our way to McKinney Falls State Park, and I'm excited.
don't like being on the ledge. <laughs> Do I want to die? So now you have to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Get to the very edge and don't feel don't be afraid to put your hands down. Okay. Careful, Javi. Okay. Not graceful, but you made it. It's all wet. It looks like you kicked Kelsey. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I know. Hobby? Why are you trying to every kill yourself? Look at the lid. Hobby. Okay, I, I need to look at the ground. That was, Clearly. That was some <laughs> spatial awareness, man. There's a giant root here, Hobby. Okay. A nature lesson, boys and girls. Poison ivy. Which one? The green one? This, this one right here. This one right here. That one back there. Okay. That if you right see there. it in the wild, don't roll in it. <laughs> don't hug it. Don't kiss it. It's right a bad there. idea. Oops, Kelsey's butt. Oh wow. We're in the middle of a trail and I already have to pee. Dora feeling exploring. Dora's walking up the trail. Let me try that again. Dora's going exploring! You gotta see it in Spanish too. Dora está explorando! I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> you could fact check that over here. Is that a word? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I find the trick off of it. <laughs> but to be fair, I had a backpack in front of me and I was reading. Excuses, excuses. I'm kidding. I'm probably gonna oh. fall on my face anytime soon now. The Grist Mill, powered by Onion and Wil Williamson Creeks. Bread lovers rejoiced when Thomas McKinney established one of the first flour mills in the region here in 1852. So it's even relevant to you, Baker. <laughs> I'm king of the hill. Hi ho, hi ho, down some not very sturdy steps I go. Kelsey and her backpack baby. Woohoo, no one died and hopefully there's a place to pee. My entire salad turned out to be bad, so I'll be having cranberries and an Uncrustable for lunch. We have the oh so talented artiste at work. A nice zoom in of her work. And my very adorable husband, who is currently passed the frick out on the bench. Yeah. Oh. oh. How do we get there from here? Okay. Hang
Bobby, why don't you rub your sunscreen? <laughs> Ooh. These are actually really cool trees. This has to be more of a moderate. There's like a lot of hydrogen water. Wow, this is pretty. So this is old Baldy. This tree is 500 years old. Holy cow. That's oh, a big guy. This is pretty. When you're loving the view, but your friend is passed out on a rock behind you. And now's where I try not to kill myself going down this, because that's a little steep. I am not meant to be a hiker. Not, no twisted angles. Thank God. It's terrifying. Can you spot Kelsey taking a nap? So once we got back from the park, we were all half dead, so we had a quick nap. And then I had the other half of my glorious hamburger from the night before, as well as a handful of strawberries. I wanted to make sure I got some fruit in. I actually was feeling super fabulous, which was wonderful. And we got to go out and enjoy ourselves at Hyde Park Bar and Grill. That place is crazy expensive. I gotta say, I was kind of shocked, but oh my gosh, it was worth every penny. It was glorious. I did eventually cave and get some fried pot stickers because I'm obsessed. And then we all did have dessert, but we split it three ways, so I didn't feel too ridiculous. All in all, not bad. Our next stop was the Blue Genie Art Bazaar. We wanted something kind of low key and I absolutely love getting an opportunity to celebrate and support local artists. This place was so much fun. They had all kinds of stuff. I felt I found a few different Christmas presents for people and I fell head over heels in love with this little possum painting. I am going to go back and buy that thing the second I have a big girl job with big girl income, which won't be for another year and a half. <laughs> So all in all, I was pretty happy with my day two of eating on vacation. I didn't go too wild. There was actually a little bit of fruit in there. And honestly, getting to be that active was so much fun. That was not all of our vacation by any means, but there's a lot of footage. So I'm actually going to split it up into two videos. So 
Stay tuned next Friday for the rest of our trip and the final results of how I did with weight loss or at least maintenance. And in the meantime, if you liked this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Bye-bye! Thank you.